Hello and welcome back to duckinapot.com. Today we're making chicken and steak fajitas. We're also making our salsa verde, which we use for our chilaquiles and other Mexican dishes. You can find that recipe also on Duck in a Pot. So we start by preparing the salsa verde. We start with one pound of tomatillos, a quarter white onion that's quartered, four garlic cloves that are whole, two jalapenos, and a quarter teaspoon salt. Add water to about half of the height of the tomatillos. That's gonna become part of the sauce. And then you boil the vegetables for about 10 minutes you'll see the tomatillos will get soft and translucent. Let that cool and then blend the ingredients in a blender for a couple seconds. Now let's add the peel from one lime, a half teaspoon dried Mexican oregano, one bay leaf, one quarter cup finely chopped fresh cilantro, and we also add a quarter cup chicken stock and juice from a lime and then blend for a couple more seconds. You can put the salsa in the refrigerator and use it the next day or in the freezer and keep it up to six months. Now let's marinate the chicken and steak. Put both the chicken and steak in separate plastic bags. We use about two pounds of chicken and two pounds of steak. If the steak or chicken is too thick, you could always cut it in half or butterfly it. Next, to each bag, add four cloves of garlic that's been peeled and minced, the juice from one lime, one jalapeno that's been finely chopped, one half of a teaspoon of Mexican oregano, one teaspoon of ground cumin, and a half a cup of olive oil. We also added half a cup of chopped fresh cilantro. Next, seal each bag and then mix the spices in well and put it in the refrigerator for two to six hours. Now let's prepare our fajitas. Start with a very hot pan with olive oil. Start with your chicken because that's gonna cook longer. Add to the pan after shaking off some of the marinade. Let that cook for seven to 10 minutes on each side until it's done. Now while the chicken is cooking, you can prepare your steak. Do the same on a very high heat with olive oil. Add your steak, cook it to medium rare. You're going to be letting them rest for about five minutes and then slicing both the chicken and steak at the same time. While the steak is resting, use the same pan with drippings for the onions and bell peppers. First cook your onions for about five minutes, then add the bell peppers. Next, you wanna slice your steak and chicken, and then you're ready to serve. You can use the toppings of your choice. We like to use guacamole, and of course our salsa verde, and we use several different types of cheeses. We like using queso fresco, cojito cheese, and then fresh cilantro, and lime zest. So start with your chicken or beef on a warm flour tortilla. You could mix both. You could do one or the other. It's really up to your taste. Then add the onions and bell peppers, and then your toppings. Well, thanks again for visiting at duckinapot.com. We hope you come back often. We try to do a new recipe about once a week. You're always welcome to come by and visit us. Just give us a ring, come on by, have lunch with us. We'd be happy to have you. Now let's take a look at Master Duck Craig and see how he reacts to these chicken and steak fajitas from duckinapot.com. 
All right, fajita day. Let's see. Mmm. -hmm. Wow. Muy bueno el todo de el mundo. Mi gusto aquí tiene usted. Glad you made it. Thanks for watching. See you next time on the Duck and the Pot Show. Quack, quack.